Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert, producer of InsideSuccessRadio.com, and I invite you to take a moment and listen to this powerful interview segment so you can be more proactive and successful. Let's return to the path to triumph with the Inside Success Show. Welcome back to the Inside Parenting Success Show. This is Jody Lynn, and I'm talking today with Twyla Prindle, author of Where's My Money and Can I Have Some Money, Please? Well, Twyla, how did you come up? I just have to ask this. How did you come up with Can I Have Some Money, Please? Because you know how many times a day parents hear that? (laughs) Well, the short, short version of how I came up with that, I was actually... Um, on a one of those red eye flights coming back from um, Las Vegas, and I just heard my goddaughter saying that to me over and over again, and then the story just started to flow with it, and I just kept praying. I was like, Lord, please let me remember all of this once I land. So I was too tired to write it all down. Plus, I was stuck in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so once I landed, I remembered everything, and as I started to write it down, it all started coming to me, and. So um, that was the beginning of Can I Have Some Money, Please? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So why do you feel it's so important to teach children early about finances? Uh, Well, studies are now showing that for the very first time since the Great uh, Depression that we actually have a negative saving rate. And so that means our society as a whole, you know, and Many of us are living check to check or just getting by. And I know all of us want the best for our children, and barely getting by is not the best. If we teach our children basic principles now, it will become common sense to them later, uh, just like riding a bike, just like for myself, you know, getting out of debt in two years. And, um, I think if we teach them that now, then they'll have those skills for later. And what what age do you actually recommend that parents start teaching children about finances? I think, you know, children learn about finances uh, the earlier the better. I mean, we're teaching children every day about finances. When you go to the grocery store and use your credit card, they are already learning. And just to give you another example, my goddaughter, this is when she was two or three, I can't remember what age, but she, I complimented her on her new shoes um, one day I had her, and I asked her who purchased her shoes for her. So she told me her dad did, and I remember strapping her into her car seat, getting into the car, and it wasn't two minutes later that she blurts out on her own, you know, my dad bought these shoes and he put it on his credit card. And so I was shocked. You know, I was like, how does she know what a credit card is? (laughs) So it was from that day forward that I started talking to her about finances, and then I just have learned. Most of the time I deal with kids that are nine and up, but then sometimes you have little stragglers that come with the kids, the younger kids. And so at that point I say, okay, you know, we can start teaching the younger kids as well. Well, that was something that was probably, like you said, pretty unexpected for her to say. He put it on his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> So how can we teach the children financial responsibility when they're at the age of maybe three or four? Well, there's many, many ways. I think the number one way is by playing games. There are so many games available to children. Um, Robert Kiyosaki has a great cash flow for kids game. Um, There's so many games on the Internet. Um, There's a lot of different books that teach children about finances, mine in particular. Um, There are many others. And then you can have a family finance nights where you can teach kids about finances and talk to them about the bills that you have to pay. A lot of times we feel like, well, you know, they're too little to learn, but, you know, they're learning anyway because children watch what you do, whether you speak it or not. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, that's definitely correct. (laughs) (laughs) So what do you consider the number one method, the best one that you feel like teaches them the financial responsibilities? I think playing games works best because um, kids like to play games anyway, and if you can make it fun with them, for them, um, it just makes a huge difference. I also have little games that I play um, with kids when I take them to the store. Um, one game in particular with my cousin, um, 
she was, I think at the time she might have been six or seven years old, and she wanted to, she expressed to me in the grocery store that she wanted to buy my grandmother a birthday present. And we have this big shebang every year for my grandmother. She's 86 years old now. And um, she asked her, well, how much money do you have? She says, I have $2. So then from there we started to talk and think of where I said, well, let's think of some ways how we can make that $2 grow. What are some ideas? And so we started walking around the store. Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert. Thank you for listening to InsideSuccessRadio.com. Now I want to invite you to listen to this entire interview for free. All you have to do to get VIP access is to type in the link as you see it below. In addition to this powerful interview, you'll be able to hear many other of your favorite celebrities such as Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Zig Ziglar, and dozens of others. Plus, there are thousands of dollars in valuable bonus gifts just waiting for you to redeem them. Go ahead, type in the link that appears at the bottom and join me in my studio.